today I am doing yet another collaboration. Why am I yelling? I yell when I talk to the camera, as if there's like a room full of you that I'm like trying to project. I think it's my theater days. Oh, that was my dryer. I didn't even notice it was on. Oh, and that's my water bottle. Well, good thing it all turned off, because now it'll be less noisy. Anyways, I am doing yet another collaboration. Now, I know I do a lot of collaborations, but the way that I look at it is you get to see my friends and their channels, and I don't know, a lot of the times it makes me do something different because we have to figure out what we want to do together. So, um, not crazy different. I'm not claiming to be like super creative in my videos, but yeah. So I am doing a collab today with my friend Carly Christman. Um, a lot of you probably know who she is, or you may know who she is and not even realize you know who she is. She is the person that actually created the um, tag, the Get Your Freak On tag. That was her. Um, it went kind of big on YouTube and um, it was kind of cool for her. She created that tag and she's such a sweet girl and she's been such a good friend to me since I've been here on YouTube. Um, and she's just amazing. She's really, really stylish. We are now calling her, everyone is calling her this, and I'm going to hop on that bandwagon, like the Lady Gaga of YouTube or whatever. Does that make sense? Twitter or whatever? I don't know. Anyways, we are doing a Get Ready With Me video today. Um, I am doing kind of a darker look. I was going to do like really dark, but I was like, I don't really do really dark. Um, but this is kind of like a Get Ready With Me to go out kind of look. And she's doing a more like ethereal kind of, I don't know, well nothing's too ethereal with Carly, she always looks like a rock star, but yeah, and I'm gonna like insert clips of her probably right here, so yeah. So yeah, she's super stylish, as you can tell, so yeah, and I'm gonna be doing kind of like a darker look, um, makeup, outfit, kind of darker everything, so let's hop right in and I will see you there. I don't know why it's my hop like that. Let's hop. Let's hop right in. Okay, let's go. Bam. <laughs> okay, so I'm hoping that I didn't mess this up by the angle of my camera. So I'm going to start by concealing my face. Um, I have still some acne scarring, so... Why am I even giving an explanation of why I'm using concealer? It's concealer. <laughs> All right, so I'm concealing everywhere, brightening up, um, even just in places that are dark to me. So yeah, now I'm blending it all in. I think I used a little bit of my Kevin Aquan um, Sensual Skin Enhancer to blend. So now I'm taking my Bobbi Brown Powder in 00 Alabaster and just fluffing that all over my face. So yeah. and down my neck to blend in. And now I'm taking my NARS bronzer in Laguna and I'm just taking it very lightly um, in the hollows of my cheek and then up on my, uh, whatchamacallit, forehead, <laughs> neck. And I'm taking a peachy, kind of almost orangey, corally blush. I'm bringing it onto my cheeks like so. I look so pleased with myself. <laughs> I'm taking my Mineral um, Skin Finish in, uh, what do you call it, Soft and Gentle, and I'm taking it on the highs of my cheekbones, down the bridge of my nose, and a little on my finger to go on my Cupid's bow. Yo. Sorry if I sound like I'm talking funny. I like have to keep my volume down when I'm doing this, or blow the audio, and I talk really loud, so this is very hard for me. Okay, now I'm filling in <laughs> my eyebrows with, um, I'm not sure which color it is in the Naked Palette. It has some shimmer to it. I know people have told me before, like, oh my gosh, you use shimmer in your eyebrows, but it works fine for me. So now I'm taking my Bare Study Paint Pot, just priming my eyes. And this is really cool. Um, Allison or Amarix introduced it to me. I just used the tattoo, the Maybelline tattoo or L'Oreal tattoo. I can't remember. I'll link it down below. Um, all over my eyelid. And now I'm taking a bronzy color and I just darkened up the outer crease of my eye while I'm like three steps behind. Now I'm taking a fluffy brush, brush with a bronze shimmery powder and then I'm tight lining as well as doing the waterline of my eyes with a black cold pencil. That pencil, that's actually, actually the Milano, Milani Liquify Eyeliner. So now I'm taking some of my Bare Study on a thin brush mm -hmm. and I am lining it, I'm putting it under my eyebrows and underneath my eyes as well, just to kind of brighten them up a little bit. Down under the eye. And 
up on top of my eyelashes just to kind of add a little brightening I don't know effect and that is some physicians formula organic wear mascara like usual and I can't remember the name of this color but it's a NARS like chubby stick pencil thingy and now I'm using some Revlon lip gloss in I don't know some other coral color okay so now um, this top I actually purchased at forever 21 and I love the bow on the front it's my favorite little detail of the outfit. The pants were purchased at Target. I have worn them before. The shoes are Steve Madden. I got them on sale for about $60. And the bag is Forever 21. Oh, duh, the blazer. H&M, $30. Crazy, huh? So, I like this outfit for a night out. Yay! I don't know. <laughs> Alright guys, so that wraps it up. Be sure to go check out Carly's video. Subscribe to her. She's amazing. I love her and she's such a sweet girl. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. I will see you next time. Um, anyways, I guess that is it. I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a great rest of the day and yeah, love you guys. I don't know what that was. It was a wave into a kiss, so Mwah, bye. Oh, so it's like one of those multi-purpose bombs like the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream by a company called Terry. SPF 15. It's got a little baby dollop sample in there.